Ab Soul, Hard Knock TV. To my niggas having bitches is what you just do. To the bitches having niggas is what a slut do. My auntie taught me always treat my lady right. My uncle told me only love him for the night. You can see the immediate disconnection between the man and the woman, the reason for regression. The song uh, Double Standards. Uh, I'm curious, what was there a particular incident or was there a bunch of incidents that led to, what inspired to, to you? Everybody, this? like this is, that is the story of like, my generation, that's the story. Like, that's just the story. It wasn't particularly mine or particularly my homies. It was really, that is the story. And in a nutshell, uh, I tried to narrow, you know, narrow it down to, you know, that in particular. You know, it's cool for, it's cool for the guys to have, you know, uh, guys to have a lot of girls. Even in, even like more in a lot of cases through the eyes of the girls, like the girls think it becomes a challenge to just be the only one type thing. To whereas the girls, you know, if their if their track record is high, you know, it like lowers their status in a lot of cases. But you know, that's just that was just a story that I I I, I find interesting. I don't know how I feel about it exactly. I don't know if it's right or wrong. If it's necessary or whatever, I just wanted to. It's just a very interesting. Um, what a, is that a paradox, to, if you will? Uh, have you felt that like people, especially females, have, have talked to you about it? Like, man, I'm glad somebody's talking about it because I feel like a lot of women I talk to, like yeah. everybody knows it goes around, but like people sure. don't necessarily want to address it. I for sure definitely, you know, probably had the women more in mind doing the record, like you know. Just kind of like, you know, letting the women know that I understand that's the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't feel, you know, I don't feel a certain way about it. You know, it's all it's all on you. Only you are responsible for the way that you feel. But um, I just wanted to, you know, let everybody know that I, under, I, I see what's going on. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to act like that's not what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I saw on Twitter uh, you just posted uh, something, uh, a picture with you and Nas. Mm -hmm. uh, was that the, the first time you guys linked up, and, and how did that conversation go? Well, that was just actually just me um, sneaking backstage, man, sneaking a picture in with him. He, you know, he's. I, I don't think he's really um, heard of me in particular. That was just me being a fan, just having an opportunity to snap a flick with him. You know, he, you know, he. I went to, um, I went to go. Um, go out there with Janae while she performed. She opened up for Nas and Lauren Hill. Mm -hmm. And um, I had to leave, I couldn't catch Lauren, but I wanted to, you know, if I could shake Nas's hand, you know, and just give him my peace, you know what I mean? That was enough for me. So, yeah, I'm de you know, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll definitely uh, link up, you know, somewhere along the line, you know what I mean? It's always good to be a fan too. Yeah, for sure. I, you know, I really didn't even want to have that conversation with him, you know what I mean? I right. just wanted to tell him how I felt about him, you know what I mean? And that that was great, you know what I mean? I'm glad that it went down like that. It wasn't like he didn't have to tell me how much he, you know, you know what I mean? Right. It didn't have to be that conversation right, right. then. It, it was just me, you know, giving him my piece, which is, which is great. It was all a dream. I swear it never happened. I wrote like Edgar Allen. I was po like Edgar Allen. Let, Let me hit it. the weed. You know, I really need that. Missing screws, bending rules like kneecaps. I don't even know what's real. I'm just being real, making moves. You're just another human being, being still. I remember reading that uh, that a dream inspired uh, the track uh, Pino Gwen. Mm -hmm. Do uh, do a lot of dreams inspire your tracks? Well, not a dream as far as like a dream that I have, because unfortunately for me, I I don't um, I don't I'm not saying I don't have dreams, but I'm unable to remember any of my dreams like if like from I, I had vivid dreams as a child but like since like middle school and up I don't really have like I, I'm not able to recall my dreams like that I daydream a lot and I visualize a lot while I'm awake of course but <clears throat> I really just meant the song is not a like 
me smoking DMT and having a trip because that's what's popular right now. People are smoking it, you know what I mean? And, you know, do you, you know, I've tried it, you know what I mean? It's, it's cool shit, you know, and that's, those are psychedelics. I advise anybody, you know, if you're going to do it, you know, do your research on it, ask questions about it before you indulge in anything like that. Um, but the the song is about that the natural DMT process during heavy REM sleep versus me smoking it. You know what I'm saying? That's why the the opening line is it was all a dream. I swear it never happened. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't thirsty for the deal. Way to make a pay double. I'm anxious when the bacon on the table. I need a muscle. You're basic like cable to a satellite dish. You was running L.A. Now you out of there like fish. What's next for Black Hippie? Shit, don't ask me, man. Ask them, <laughs> ask them guys, man. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? What's next for Absol? It'll probably be this Jameson project. It's probably, it's probably my next big endeavor. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be real crazy. Probably be looking for that next for sure. Uh, lastly, are you eating yet? No. Not just yet. How did that all get started? It's just a funny conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just homies cracking jokes, man. It's just, you know what I mean? Everybody trying to eat. Who's really eating, though? You know what I'm saying? Who's really eating? You feel me? I ain't eating. You know what I mean? I ain't eating, for sure. Kendrick Lamar, Good Kid, Mad City, out now on iTunes, in stores, high power, can't stop us, yeah.